2018 Honda Civic cabin and air filter replacement. Let's start with the air filter. Pop your hood and come over to this box. It's got these screws right here. Um, these are 8 millimeters, or you could use a Phillips on them to get them out. Uh, there's the last one right there. And uh, what we're going to do is just loosen these. They probably won't just come out and, you know, and you could grab them like a regular screw would. I think they're kind of like made to... Like, they'll come loose, but they stay in their spot, which is kind of nice. Um, so once you get those loose, you should be able to easily lift this up. Go ahead and just grab your filter. Um, it's a lot easier. Two hands, I only got one hand. And then uh, here's our filter. Now, notice on the filter, there's a notch. I'll show you. Um, the notch has to go in the notch part when you put it back in. That little notch on the right there. Here's my micro guard filter. Here's my part number. And this is for the uh, 18 Civic. Got this out. Nice and fresh. There's my notch right there. And that's going to go pointing towards the outside. So that, there it is right there when you put this in. It kind of just points to the outside of the car. And then uh, this spot right here is what goes over it. So it's kind of like dummy proof. Like you have to really, you have to get it on there to make it work or else it won't bolt down right. So once that's in, we'll go ahead and just uh, screw this down. Uh, make sure everything's lined up. Be patient. Sometimes it's kind of annoying to get it lined up right. And uh, go ahead and get this done. You don't got to tighten these down super tight. In fact, you could strip them out if you go too tight. Just get them snug and you'll be fine. And that's how you do your air filter. Now let's move on to the cabin filter. Uh, come in your car, open your glove box. Now get all your stuff out, anything you have inside of there. Um, you're going to pull the sides at the same time inward, and then you'll lower this down. Uh, I just did it with one hand, so you should be able to do it with two hands. Now, here's our cabin filter um, lid assembly. There's an arrow pointing down. It says airflow on it. Now, I'll go ahead and pull this out here. Now, any leaves or debris, try not to let it drop in that blower motor. Just try not to let it drop into that little area. If you get leaves and stuff in there, it'll make a loud noise when it's on high. Uh, you could pull your, get your fingers in there and pull anything out. You know, make sure the car is off and the keys are away from the vehicle. Here's our new filter. Notice it says airflow pointing down. Now, this is matching right here on the door. It says airflow pointing down. So you, when you put it in, you'll make sure the arrow points down like that now I've seen some people make a mistake they try to put it in like this and that's not the way to do it you're gonna have trouble getting it sitting up right and the, and the lid's not gonna close so what you want to do uh, make sure you got your airflow pointing down but you're gonna put it in uh, sideways so this fabrics on the outside and it should just uh, go right in and sit upwards when it's in there put your little door lid on this should just kind of clip into place just get it lined up and gently push it on and then that'll be in place airflow pointing down of course and that's how you do your cabin filter this one's pretty dirty and then we'll just um when you get this it can come off the hinges but when you put it on just line up the hinges first and then um get those they might have you might have to push it until they pop until they get in on the actual hinge real good and then when you go upwards you'll just kind of squeeze these uh edges in again and then get it in the place it should just open and close fine you shouldn't have any problems all right thanks for watching hope this video helped you out please like comment subscribe